Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video tutorial, I will show you how to fix Mount and Blade 2 Banner Lord War Sales Game Crashing, Crash to Desktop, Crashes at a Startup, or Freezing Problem on PC. So, without wasting the time, let's directly jump to the fixes. The first fix is to verify the game files. So, open Steam, go to Library, right click on Mount and Blade 2 Banner Lord Game and then select properties go to the installed files tab and then click on verify integrity of game files this is just an example i am showing with another game and after the verification has been done and then you can launch the game and check if a problem is solved or not next solution is to disable modes now if you are using any kind of modes then disable them all and then check also make sure that your game is not in beta and then check Fix 3 is to modify the game launch option. So again open Steam, go to library, right click on Mount and Blade 2 Banner Lord game. This is just an example and then select properties. Now in launch option type minus DX11, then close the tab and then launch the game and check. If that doesn't work, then again go to properties and again here in the launch option type minus DX12 and then close the tab and then launch the game and check if it's still not working then again go to properties remove the launch options and follow other fixes mentioned in this video fix for is to run mount and blade to banner lord war sales as an admin so open steam go to library right click on mount and blade to banner lord game and then click on manage and then click on browse local files it will open the game installation folder the path will be c drive program files x86 steam steam apps common folder mount and blade to banner lord folder now open bin folder win64 shipping client folder and then right click on banner lord exe file and then select properties now go to the compatibility tab and tick mark run this program as an administrator then hit apply ok and then launch the game from the game installation folder and then check fix 5 is to modify the compatibility settings of banner lord exe file so again go to the compatibility setting and then tick mark run this program in compatibility mode for and from here select windows 8 and then click on apply and then ok and then launch the game and check if it's still not working then again go to the compatibility tab and from the drop down here select windows 7 hit apply ok and then check if it's still not working then again go to the compatibility tab and this time check mark disable full screen optimization option as well then hit apply ok and then launch the game and check now if still not working then untick all these three boxes from the compatibility tab then hit on apply ok and then follow other fixes mentioned in this video fix 6 is to try to launch the game by running bannerlord.native exe file so again open steam go to library right click on mount and blade 2 bannerlord game and then click on manage browse local files it will open the game installation folder the path will be c try program files x86 steam steam apps common mount and blade 2 bannerlord folder now open the bin folder then open win64 shipping client folder and then look for the bannerlord.native ex file and double click it to run it this will launch the game if that doesn't work then you can right click on bannerlord.native ex file and then select run as administrator and then check fix 7 is to allow mount and blade to bannerlord war sales through firewall and antivirus program to do so in windows search type windows security and open it then click on virus and threat protection then scroll down and click on manage ransomware protection then click on allow an app through control folder access click yes to allow and then click on add an allowed app then click on browse all apps and then go to the game installation folder browse to c drive program files x86 steam steam apps common mount and blade to banner lord bin folder win64 shipping client folder and then select banner lord exe file and then click open to add it to the list Again click on add an allowed app then click on browse all apps and browse to c try program files x86 steam steam apps common mount and blade to banner lord bin folder win64 shipping client folder select banner lord.native exe file and then click open to add it to the list now follow the same steps and also add banner lord underscore be exe file as well now go back click on firewall and network protection then click on allow an app through firewall then click on change settings then click on allow another app and then click on browse and then browse to the game installation folder browse to c drive program files x86 steam steam apps common mount and blade 2 banner lord bin folder 
then open Win64 shipping client folder, select Bannerlord exe file and click on add to add it. After adding it, make sure both private and public is tick marked. Again click on allow another app, then click on browse and then browse to C drive program files x86, steam, steam apps, common, mount and blade to banner load, bin folder, win64 shipping client folder. Select bannerlord.native exe file and click on add to add it to the list. After adding it, make sure both private and public is tick marked. Now follow the same steps and also add bannerlord underscore bexe file as well. Then click on OK to save changes and then you can go ahead, launch the game and check if your problem is solved or not. Now if you are using any third party antivirus programs such as Komodo, Avast, Casper Sky, AVG, Maccafe, Norton, Bitdefender, ESET, then allow the game exe to your antivirus program as well and then check. Or you can simply disable your antivirus program for a while, then launch the game and check. Later you can enable your antivirus program. Fix it is to update the graphic card driver. So in Windows search type device manager and open it. Then expand the display adapters. Right click on your graphic card driver and then select update driver. Then click on search automatically for drivers and then close it. And then go ahead launch the game and check if your problem is solved or not. If not then you have to perform a clean installation of graphic card driver. Now if you have AMD graphic card driver then go to the AMD website. If you have Nvidia graphic card driver then go to the Nvidia website. And if you have Intel graphic card driver then go to the Intel website. Links are provided in my video description. What you have to do you have to search and select your correct graphic card driver version and then reinstall the latest version. And then you can launch the game and check. So I am showing the example of Nvidia graphic card driver. So go to this Nvidia website and once you are on the Nvidia website enter your graphic card driver version over here and then select the windows operating system and then click on find now you have to download geforce game ready driver and install it so whatever is the latest version you have to download and install it so click on view then click on download and once this exe file get downloaded then run the downloaded exe file and select yes to allow and then click ok you will see this screen click on agree and continue then select custom advanced option and then hit on next then tick mark perform a clean installation box and then hit on next and after the clean installation of graphic card driver is done just restart your pc and then launch the game and check fix 9 is to close conflicting or unnecessary programs so disconnect external usb drive mouse disconnect additional joystick controllers or multiple monitor connected to your pc unplug the logitech or thrust master racing wheel and the task for afterburner riva tuner hw info Razer Synapse or MSI Dragon Center from Task Manager. Close all of your tabs to free up RAM and then relaunch the game and check. Fix 10 is to disable overlay. So open Steam, go to library, right click on Mount and Blade 2 Bannerlord game and then select properties. This is just an example and turn off the enable the Steam overlay while in game. So turn it off and then launch the game and check. If that doesn't work, then enable it and then check. Disable Discord overlay, launch Discord on your PC, then click on gear icon in the app bottom left corner, click on game overlay on the left panel and then toggle off the enable in game overlay. Disable Nvidia overlay, open Nvidia GeForce Experience, settings, general, turn off in game overlay. Similarly disable overlay in all apps or close all other overlay apps such as GeForce Experience, Nvidia Shadow Play overlay, AMD overlay. And then you can launch the game and check. Fix 11 is to update BIOS. If the issue persists, then you should check for your BIOS update. You can update the BIOS through your PC or laptop manufacturer official website. Once you update it, launch the game and then check if the issue is resolved or not. Fix 12 is to install Visual C++ files. So go to this Microsoft official website. Link is given in my video description. And once you are on this website, scroll down and download both the x64 and x86 version. Download both the version. Now first click on x64 version. Now if you see repair option then click on repair and if you see install option then click on install and install it. Then click on x86 version. Now if you again see repair option then click on repair and if you see install option then click on install and install it. And then just restart your PC once and after your PC restart go ahead launch the game and check if your problem is solved or not. Fix 13 is to update windows. So click on windows settings. On the left click on windows update. And then click on check for updates. And if there are any updates available. 
then download and install them all and after updating the windows just restart your pc and after your pc restart go ahead you can launch the game and check if your problem is solved or not and the last solution is to uninstall and reinstall mountain blade 2 banner lord war cells as well as mountain blade 2 banner lord game so if nothing seems to work then uninstall mountain blade 2 banner lord war cells and also uninstall mountain blade 2 banner lord game from your pc then restart your pc and then reinstall the games to c drive ssd drive if already installed in c drive then try installing it to another ssd drive and then check so i hope by following these fixes you can easily solve mountain blade 2 banner lord war sales game crashing crash to desktop crashes at a startup or freezing problem on pc so that's all for this video if this video helped you then please like and subscribe to my channel share this video and hit the bell icon to get the latest updates thank you